Hello, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome, Cross Watchers. I'm going to take a look at your situation with you and your person. Remember that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with everybody. But if you would like a personal reading, I will leave the information in the description box below. Also, you can check your other placements. You may find some messages there for you. Um, I'm hearing the name Courtney. That could be significant for somebody. Uh, so, Brittany also. Tyler. Xavier. L. So... What I'm seeing is that we're starting to move out of a situation where things are one-sided or um, we're dealing with a narcissist, somebody who wants the attention all on them, who feels like they are somebody who has all of the knowledge, has all of the information, um, they're never wrong. And I see that when it comes to this, it has come to an end or it's coming to an end because there is changes that are going on here when it comes to somebody's feelings, changes when it comes to, um, yeah, somebody's feelings to a situation because there's a lot of uh, stress or betrayal or um, somebody's feelings stabbed in the back. It look, kind of looks like she f was like looking through her phone and found some information that um, really hurt her so it could her or him doesn't matter but I see that this one-sided situation is taking a turn and I see you starting to move forward I see you starting to move on because there's been a lot of confusion when it comes to feelings it's um, a lot of things that are just not clear somebody's heads in the clouds and um, somebody's just confused in general here. And we're completing this, this cycle. And in your person's energy, we have the butterfly. Relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing the inner child and growth. So, okay. You're not going to be expecting this from this person. They are coming in fast. <laughs> They're coming in really fast. Knight of Swords energy. Um, they have this love offer that they want to give you. They are... They feel as though you may reject them, but that's not going to stop them from pursuing you or from having this conversation or talking to you, that's not going to stop them. They're coming in fast and they're um, coming in fear fearlessly. So this is them wanting to evolve the relationship to a next phase, heal it and grow with the star. They, they see you as the one. They see you as... Uh, somebody who plays a really huge role in their life and they don't want to be without you. So this is them wanting to heal things and have a renewal and making a decision that's way out of their comfort zone, something that they don't normally do, um, to come towards you and to try to change your mind about things. So with the seven of wands, I see that they are, they're wanting to fight for this and they are going to, they don't want to back down from it. So even if there's other people or competition, um, they want to defend what you two already have. So in your energy, we have the Ten of Swords. So you're hurt. You, um, there's been a lot of um, hard situations, hard conversations with this person. Shocking news. Sudden changes that um, 
really hurt you, stressed you out, and I see that you're taking a break. You are starting to take a break and you're observing everything, taking a step back to really observe where, uh, what needed to be worked on and what just wasn't working at all. And I do see that when you do get this, this conversation or this message from this person who wants to apologize, who's telling you that they miss you and I'm um, telling you all those sweet things, there is going to be a part of you that is going to be very happy about it with the sun card because you also miss them. And I see you wanting to uh, see whether or not there's things that can be worked on, if something can be fixed, or if it's just a dead end from here. So it's a matter of can you get over the pain and hurt because you are hurt with this Ten of Swords and you're waiting to you're waiting for the person that's going to make you happy whether it's leaving them or um, it's them in the next few weeks I see karmic relationship bleeding triggers turmoil resentment lessons letting go and loving you so this is forward movement with the chariot I see travel. Somebody could have a motorcycle, um, but this is travel and this is willpower. Moving forward through these struggles, through these hard times, and moving into a direction to have a victory, to have success here. And I do see that somebody is, is being triggered through fears of being lied to or cheated on or um, sneaky behavior because somebody is really fickle with this page of cups. Somebody, the feelings are there, um, but either they're fickle or they're shy and this is causing triggers, this is causing uh, fears about the worst case scenario happening, but regardless, I see that um, with the chariot, there's willpower. If there's a will, there's a way to move forward and to get past this and to start to move forward after being stuck and receiving something that's been lost. Okay, so... I do see that with the star in your outcome here, there is a light at the end of the tunnel that you're reaching. We have love the lovers, star and the lovers. So this looks like you're going to be meeting the one with the star and the lovers. Healing a, a relationship. And there's going to be some some surprises here with the tower. Not surprisingly reaching this the end of the tunnel after everything that you and this person has been through. Um, with the hand of cards, I see that somebody's taking that risk. Somebody's taking that chance to make a long-term commitment with the lovers here. And... This is going to be a, a, a shock, a, a huge surprise with the tower that somebody's not going to be expecting, but it's a wish fulfillment with the star card here. Um, I see also that on the flip side, there is a, going to be a decision between somebody from the past and somebody new and you will know who is the right one 
with the star and the lovers this is just a knowing um this is knowing somebody is a wish fulfillment and moving forward towards your wish fulfillment after a struggle um could be an aquarius i also see taurus libra gemini aquarius pisces cancer scorpio So, let's get some more details here on your situation with you and your person for Gemini. I'm also um, hearing that somebody could have been blocked, blocked communication, blocked on social media or Phone, blocked phone numbers but that's when this chariot comes in where if there's a will there's a way kind of situation uh, I see that between you and this person in the past things could have been very passionate very intimate a lot of it and this person right now in their energy they're not happy look at them with this wallflower energy they are like sitting in the shadows, unhappy about the situation, about where things are right now, contemplating everything, um, not even speaking to other people, being alone, isolated, but this is what's pushing them towards you and you're going to be faced with a situation to work on it. You may have worked with this person or met them through work. Um, somebody could be a business person. You or this person could be a mature woman, so an older woman. Or I see a lot of dark hair here. A lot of like browns and black hair. So in your outcome, I see that things are starting. This kind of reminds me of the tower because we did see the tower which has came down a sudden shift and sudden changes but with this you can see like everything all these coins are starting to be stacked up again things are starting to build up and build on a solid foundation that's going to be a wish fulfillment but you or this person could possibly be um financially stable there could be a wish fulfillment when it comes to money Let's get some final cards before I close off this reading. Ask for help from others. So I definitely see this person. I actually feel like it's both. I'm getting that it's on both sides here. Asking friends or family about their opinions on what's happened on this situation in general asking for some type of guidance to move forward and to get past this because this could have to do with a marriage and then we have a romance so this is a this is a very um serious relationship or a serious commitment long-term commitment that is is a major part in your life and then we have it's up to you so this to me is about a decision that is your decision ultimately to make um everybody has free will regardless of what the cards say so i see you being faced with a decision but with the way that things are headed in this energy the star in your outcome looks like a wish fulfillment so this is what i'm getting for you gemini if you like this reading, please comment, like, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be updated for future videos. Let me know if it resonated, and I hope that you found some guidance or clarity in your situation, and thank you for watching. Bye.